Hey guys, it's Brandon. Welcome back to my blog, all about fashion and forward thinking. Anyway, today's episode, I'll be walking you guys through a year of Wisconsin in fashion. Everything you need to know to survive hunting season, Valentine's Day. I'm going to walk you through the whole year so you'll be prepared to go out and hit the city no matter if it's small town Wisconsin or big city capital like Madison. So, I'm going to start with January. A nice simple plaid really does the trick. You'll blend in with the locals, but you can also show that winter hasn't got me down yet. Let's move on to February. Now, I like a simple plaid that has a little bit of the red. This definitely highlights Valentine's Day. It's right around the corner. Would you wear this into a Wisconsin bar? And men will know you need business. All right, moving on. March. You know what they say about March. Blue, 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 blue. Well, I say blue no more. Embrace it. Own it. Be a man. Just wear it. This plaid is bold. And it says, I'm here, Wisconsin. I like cheese and I'm not going anywhere. April, the perfect time to wear something that reflects your views on taxes. This shirt makes a political statement. It says, I'm conservative and bold, and I pay my taxes. I like it for April. Also, you can wear that one anywhere in Wisconsin, except for Marshfield or Des Plaines. The plane? Yeah, I think it's on the plane. Um, anyways, moving on. January, February, March, April, May. We have a nice springtime look. You can see that the, the colors reflect the local fauna of Wisconsin. You might be walking through the woods wearing a shirt like this, and suddenly you'll notice that your shirt, shirt matches uh, the water, uh, the wildflowers, Maybe even the sky on a pretty summer sunset. So moving forward, your next shirt. You're going to want to pack this if you're ever in Wisconsin in June. It's more of a western look. This is an essential plaid shirt to pack for June. Because you're going to want to go see a rodeo. You're probably going to want to see a monster truck rally. You might go hunting for deer or even squirrel. So you want something that you can wear under your camouflage and something that looks cute under a bright orange coat. July. You want something that says, I'm ready for fireworks, but also, I could do sparklers. So you're going to want something that says, let's hit the picnic. I brought the sweet corn, and I shucked it myself. No pun intended. I crack myself up. Anyway, this is an essential American Eagle you can buy at AE.com. It's only $25.99. And it's very patriotic. Nothing says patriotism like blue plaid. August. August in Wisconsin can be hot and humid, so you need something that's going to cool you down, keep you nice and light. And honestly, the best thing for that is a nice plaid shirt that is reflective of a summer August in Wisconsin. As you can see, we have the harvest is coming. It's mixing with summer. Fall is soon upon us, but we still have a week left to enjoy summer before school starts. So let's eat all the cotton candy and go to all the fairs and see all the summer movies we can. Because before you know it, we're gonna be crammed to the neck with homework. What did I say, boys? September. Back to school, back to business. It's back to being a man and a suit. You're going to want something that shows you can be serious in the classroom. Or, if you're up here for leisure, this says, I'm ready for a nice September walk on the prairie. I would like to see some evergreens today. And for October, you're definitely going to want to carve a pumpkin. In order to do that, you need to blend in with the locals. You need to wear an essential plaid shirt that has the western snaps. Now, the western snaps will really accent your eyebrows. So if you, if you shape your eyebrows 
um, up like I do, you're going to want to pop the collar on this one because that will give it a nice pizzazz. But if you shape them down like um, Adam Lambert, you're probably going to want to just do one down and one up because that will accent your biceps. This is so exciting. We've almost gone through a whole year. Can you believe it? That went fast. You can guess. November. Yes, that's right. It's time to be thankful. Thankful for your friends, for your family, for the life you have. What says thankful better than a nice purple plaid from Ben Sherman? It says, I'm thankful. I'm humble. I'm here. I'm wearing plaid. Get used to it. And lastly, for December. I like a nice holiday thing. And by thing, I mean red plaid. Well, I'm not going to lie. I, I love red plaid. Who doesn't? But the trick to this is... Dun, 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 you can dress it up with a nice plaid tie, actually. You can get these at plaidties.gov. Super cheap. And if you can't afford it, just take out a Stafford loan. That's what I do. And remember, you're going to want to pack lightly, so remember to bring at least three sets of plaid pillows, especially if you're camping. Definitely going to want a plaid blanket for cuddling up with that special someone. And who knows, if it really gets cold, you might get stuck in the winter. Brr, you're going to want a plaid scarf. Alright boys, now you know how to pack for Wisconsin. Your survival guide is right here.